even with the rain you can see a lot of people have made it out to the Ace Cafe Brighton Burn Up this year. Not as busy as previous years but there's still plenty of bikes around and a lot of stalls still. Even some of the local dealerships like Group 1 here in Brighton brought out some of their top end bikes. The R1300 there, the S1000 the RR I believe it is and the R12T as well as some of their gear. Another local dealer is Alpside and Worthing who are currently now selling the BSA Gold Star which they bought out and showed off along with a couple of other Kawasaki's they had on display. Other stores focused on selling gear such as helmets, jackets, gloves etc and there's quite a few of these throughout the row. And of course Ace Cafe themselves came down, they had their own stores selling their own merchandise, t-shirts, mugs and other little bits with the logo on it. Another highlight is the British Motorcycle Club who showed off their collection of old British bikes, most of which surprisingly weren't leaking oil. Again this year there was live music provided throughout most of the day, which was quite nice to hear. And of course you've got everybody turning up throughout the course of the day depending on how they got caught in the rain. And they have all parks up along the beach on the seafront side and we get to have a look through and see some of their bikes. A few of which I wanted to highlight here. This particular R100 with side cut rig was interesting as it came all the way across from Germany. And that was quite a theme, there were quite a few bikes from different countries and I've got an example coming up in a second with this French bikes. I assume these three French riders come together and all I can think of is the poor guy in the middle there riding the Triumph with his mates on the F800 GS, I think it is, and the big Ducati Multistrada there being much more comfortable than that Triumph. This Norton was in particularly great condition, it obviously had a lot of work done to keep it in this wonderful shiny shape with what appears to be custom rear sets and a new front caliper. I just love the look of this Triton with the trumpets, I think it's something special. This old Indian also caught my eye and quite a lot of other people's with what looks to be a clutch, hand clutch lever. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it just seems something really unusual to see on the road. It's very hard to ride with the looks of it. There are a few two strokes on the road. Uh, this one was a particularly great example and nice to see in such a good condition. I did really like what had been done to this uh, R9T here with the full GS setup. I think that is a particularly good example of modifications done well for some of their touring setup. It was also nice to see these two S1000 side by side with the R and the RR versions. I do think I'd prefer the RR myself, but it was nice to see them side by side. This FJR really caught my attention because it just seemed like in such good used condition. Everything was clean but it's obviously been in use for a while, quite a while. One of my favourite bikes for the show was this though, obviously raising money but fantastic the welding and design. In fact for that you can just see people coming through, having fun on their bikes, even though it's been quite a grey and glossy day, they just kept on turning up throughout the day. So well worth coming to. And I thought it's nice just to finish up here with the um, Triumph TT.